Hello! This presentation is a quick tutorial that outlines the procedures for entering an instrument received at your school into the inventory system. Additional details may be found in the Instrument Inventory Policies and Procedures document found in this course or in the Inventory section of the BCPS Music Teachers Group. The next three slides outline the process to add and document new instruments in your inventory. If you are new to Baltimore County Public Schools, please assure that you have set up a username and password in the system and that your school's inventory has been assigned to you. This is also something that you should check if you transferred schools in BCPS at the end of last school year. Your inventory needs to be assigned by staff from the Office of Performing Arts. Brian Schneckenberger serves as the point of contact for inventory. If you need assistance in this process, contact me as soon as possible. The next slides outline the process to enter a new instrument received at the school. All of these steps should occur within one week of receipt of the instrument. First, upon receipt at the school, staff must sign for the delivery. The package is to be opened only by the instrumental music teacher. Second, inspect the instrument for potential damage during shipping. Third, if the instrument was damaged, contact the vendor immediately. Fourth, engrave the instrument with Bebco within a week of receipt. Next, mark the instrument case with Bebco and the serial number. This slide contains two examples. It is best to write directly on the case with a metallic sharpie so that the numbers do not wear off. The numbers should be displayed prominently on the front of the case. Note the ways that the case is marked in the pictures here. There's information by the handle to the case as well as on the outward facing part of the case. If the instrument does not have a serial number, the teacher will create a unique six-digit serial number and engrave it on the instrument. Next, add the instrument to the BCPS Inventory Management System. With Step 7, you will need the following information. You'll need the correct code for the instrument. Codes are located in the Policies and Procedures Manual, and copies of codes may also be found in this course as well as the BCPS Music Teachers Group under Inventory. You'll need the correct serial number for the instrument. If you make a mistake, email me with what you entered, the correct number, and a photo of the correct serial on the instrument. I will need to change that within the system. You'll need the current year's replacement cost from the Policies and Procedures Manual. Replacement costs can be found in the manual and may also be found in this course and in the BCPS Music Teachers Group. You'll need the vendor. Um, for donated instruments, uh, you'll need to use the comments section to indicate if the instrument was donated, if a student abandoned it, etc. Finally, to loan the instrument to the student, you will need a completed instrument loan agreement on file. For the student loan agreement, all applicable signatures need to be on the form. Forms should be kept in a binder in some sort of order that you may easily access information in the event of a visit from the Audit's Office or the Office of Performing Arts. The next few slides show how to add the instrument through the inventory system. To get started, you'll need to navigate to the logon page to the system at solofestival.org slash bcps. Here, you will enter your bcps email address and password. Note, your password, which you set, may be different than your password to other bcps systems such as email. Please store your sensitive information in a place where you may easily access it. If you need assistance in setting up your account in the inventory system, the inventory course in Schoology contains step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up your profile. Once you correctly enter your information, you will be taken to the main screen. Here is what your main screen will look like. Note that if you are assigned to multiple schools, all of your school's listings will appear here, so you will need to sort out the school that you are trying to work with in the lower left corner of the screen. To add instruments, click the plus Add to Inventory button circled in red here. Here is the window that will pop up when you click the Add to Inventory button. Take note of the items listed on this slide. You'll need the information listed on this slide to successfully enter the new instrument. If you are entering an instrument that was donated to your school, you may indicate that an instrument was donated under Vendor. An administrative tool that is frequently overlooked is the ability to assign instruments to students in the comments section along with the location of the instrument. If you only have one instrument to add, click Save. If you have another, you may opt to save and add more. Note: If you make an error in entry and notice it after you click Save, you'll need to email Brian Schneckenberger with the correct information and he will need to correct the information in the system. This has been a quick tutorial on adding an instrument to your inventory. 
If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact me at any time using the information above. Thank you for your part in maintaining an accurate inventory.